Hi, this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares, and this is going to be my top five recommendations for the month of August. Now, I watched a lot of movies in August, um, mainly because we were trying to get stuff done for the full moon stream with uh, Brad and Joe and just watching other things and doing videos. Um, so I clocked in 111 movies, which is a lot. Um, don't think I'll be doing that anytime soon again, but never know. Now, this of course is where I give my five recommendations and two honorable mentions. And I also tell you stuff that I watch that I don't own because they don't appear in my top five. So I was fortunate enough to babysit my grandbabies, my grand dogs. And uh, my daughter has Hulu, so I watched Prey the first day it came out, and I loved it. Of course, I do not own it, but we are getting a physical release, apparently. I did watch the um, unrated director's cut of Killer Joe. And, yeah, I think that's about all that I watched that I don't own. Okay, let's get right into the honorable mentions. My first honorable mentions came from my buddy Dave Maggot. I actually uh, purchased some of his trauma or his trauma collection uh, for Christmas. Um, yeah, and it was "Surf Nazis Must Die." Now this is the first time I saw this, and I absolutely loved it. I was, you know, you never know what you're going to get with trauma. I do like trauma movies. I think they're fun, but I kind of have to be in the mood to watch them. So. I watched this, and I loved it. I just thought it was great. And to be honest, I think I would probably love it even if I wasn't in the mood for trauma. It's kind of like a goofy beach version of The Warriors, kind of. Um, it's a little hard to explain, but it's it's a trauma movie, and it's a lot of fun. So that's my first honorable mention is Surf Nazis Must Die. <laughs> um... My second honorable mention is going to be from this uh, triple feature gritty horror pack. This really surprised me because Joe and I watched Hack. Now, I do have this individually, but I just could not find it. So I picked up this. Um, I already had this three pack as well. So I went and got this and we watched Hack, Hack, of course. And I figured, why not watch the other two movies? This three pack has been sitting in my collection for way too long. So I watched Baby Blues and Harm's Way. And Harm's Way almost made my honorable mentions. I thought it was really good. It's a slow burn, but it's a really good film. Baby Blues, on the other hand, is my second honorable mention. It absolutely blew me away. And I actually thought it was going to make my top five. Now, I know that there is another movie called Baby Blues. And I thought it was a... A remake, but it's actually not. This is not the Asian version of Baby Blues. So, yeah. Alright, coming in at number five. Is going to be Gore in Venice. Or, it's also known as Giallo in Venice. Um, this movie's a lot of fun. I was kind of wondering where all the gore was. But then as I got into the film a little bit more... It started to rear its head, and I just had a really good time with it. Um, yeah, fun movie, fun movie. I definitely recommend it. All right, number four is going to be something that Brad, uh, Bronco Juggalo, and I watched, and that is Evil Bong 420. Now, this one and my next one could be interchangeable as they were in my um, in our stream where we ranked the Evil Bong films. I loved 420. It took place at a bowling alley. Uh, one of the things I guess I didn't say in my in the stream was I used to work at a bowling alley, so this is very nostalgic for me. And um, the deliberate product placement I thought was priceless. So yeah, that's Evil Bong 420. Loved it. And, which actually came in second, but is coming in a little bit before the other one, just because I wanted to switch things up a little bit because they are interchangeable, is The Ginger Weed Man. It's a very short movie. It's 45 minutes, but it's one of the best 45 minutes that I've spent in a very long time. I had a blast with this movie. It is just so much fun. 
All right. Okay, that's the ginger weed man. I got a little confused there. <laughs> okay, my number two and my number one, don't get me wrong, they are very good movies. And that's the reason why they're number two and number one in my um, in my top five. But I was a little underwhelmed. Um, but they still were good enough to make the top two. Uh, number two is The Black Phone. I heard nothing but good things about this movie, and I did like it a lot. I, however, didn't think it was quite... It didn't live up to the hype for me. But I liked it a lot. So, you know, it's kind of... Take it for what it is. It's a very well-done film that boasted a lot of originality. And yes, there was some originality in this film. But it didn't... I don't know. Some of it was a little slow for me, but yeah, the black phone. And number one was also kind of didn't live up to the hype for me, and that is X. I've um, been wanting to see this for a while. I finally got a chance to, and yes, it is my type of movie. Yes, I like Ty West a lot, and this fits right in with his catalog because I like all of his movies. And I, I really enjoyed it. It's number one this month, but original no this this has not a speck of originality in it um i'll debate anyone on that it's just basically a texas chainsaw massacre movie a different way of looking at it there's nothing really different about this film it's kind of the texas chainsaw massacre meets the visit kind of it's been done before that's why i was a little disappointed when i heard that this was one of the most original horror movies in years I, I just don't think so, but that's just me, I guess. I don't know. But it was still a very good film. I liked um, Brittany Snow in it. I liked the whole porn kind of aspect of the film. I thought that was fun. But, like I said, not original. Didn't live up to the hype for me, but I still enjoyed it. So, yeah. Repeating. That's X is number one. The Black Phone is number two. The Gingerweed Man is number three. Evil Bong 420 is number four. Giallo in Venice, or Gore in Venice, is number five. Baby Blues is one of my honorable mentions, and my other honorable mention is Surf Nazis Must Die. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to comment and subscribe. And if you like what you see in here, Hit that like button, and you know what to do. Until next time, peace.